This conversation is taking place at the Biggs Museum in Dover. I'm chatting today with Patty Grimes. Patty, the Freeman stage at Bayside is, is a really unique performance venue in Sussex County. Could you, could you speak to the impact that your programming has on the local community as well as those who come into Sussex County? Our venue is very unique. It's outdoors, it's very bohemian. Uh, children and families, generations come, whether they're residents or guests uh, in the resort area. And last year we had over 40,000 folks enjoy our performances at the outdoor Freeman stage at Bayside. Now Sussex County is, is a, represents a very diverse population, both with, with the residents of the county as well as those who come in through tourism. Uh, could you speak to how that figures into your, your programming and your considerations? Sure. Well, our uh, mission is partnering to present memorable performances and inspired arts education for all. So using that mission, the diversity of our performances really relates to our, not only our mission, but also the audiences that we attract. So we have everything from opera to uh, bluegrass and country and jazz, tribute bands, and a great array of children's programs as well, as well. And we hope that that connects in with the diversity of our audience and also uh, to provide an opportunity for folks to maybe enjoy a genre that they haven't seen before. And you provide programming both uh, bringing in from, from na the national circuit, but also locals. Could you, could you speak to how you serve as a resource to, to the local arts community? Well, each year, in fact, this year, we're having a new program called Locals Under the Lights, and it's a great way to showcase local talent, um, and they may be the next uh, star that came right out of Sussex County. And initiatives for young people? Oh, yes, absolutely. So I would say the first initiative for young people is actually volunteer volunteering at the stage. Uh, we have a great um, host of volunteers, over a hundred. Many of those are youngsters. Um, and then we also have family programming that really um, help bring the younger audience in. On Saturday mornings, for instance, we have a specific children's program. Um, and we have 13 or 14 of those performances from storytelling to kids rock band, um, theater and art lessons. And then uh, we have great great family programs um, on Thursday and Friday evenings. Now I know you draw large crowds for your programming. Could you speak to the economic impact that you're programming? Oh yes, yes. So um, first of all I did want to say that although 65 percent of our performances are free, um, it is very true that a visitor spends almost $52 when they come into a an arts uh, performance and locals spend about twenty-three dollars. So, in two thousand twelve alone, we had over a million and a quarter of economic impact right to Sussex County in the state of Delaware. Now, what connection do you see between the programming that you're doing and the larger tourism industry of Sussex County? Uh, I think it's a great connection, and uh, we are attracting some of the same, not only the same tourists that are already making plans to come here, but with um, some of our national recording acts, um, they've actually been helping to actually bring more tourism into the state of Delaware. And everyone loves to have an evening under the stars, um, see a great musical performance or musical theater. And uh, we actually now have some folks who are actually arranging their vacations around the Freeman Stage at Bayside's calendar. What are some of the highlights of programming that you've e either had recently or you see in the future that really indicate the kind of, of, of offering you have for the people? Well, last year we were uh, we had Darius, Darius Rucker at the uh, Freeman Stage at Bayside. He was completely sold out at 2,300 seats, and we're excited and thrilled to let everyone know that he's coming back again this year, along with Cheryl Crow um, and other Grammy Award-winning artists like Lyle Lovett, um, Pat Benatar, and Michael McDonald. Well, Patty, it's been a pleasure chatting with you today. Thank you so much for sharing the great work of the Freeman Stage at Bayside. Likewise, thank you.